So growing up on the west side of Chicago, man, kind of like, you know, shaped the brother. You know, and you don't realize how rough or how dangerous things are because you're in the you in an environment. This is what you grew up in, so you earn your stripes. You 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 earn your toughness. You because uh, I grew up with a bunch of like hustlers, blue collar cats. So it's nothing to see, you know, people shooting up heroin or ODN or you know cocaine or drugs or prostitutes and pimps. It was nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it was like growing up, that was my TV. Like just being very observant of the hustlers and, and, and people coming in and out of, of, of my, my grandmother's home and just watching how people hustled or how they how they were trying to get to that next day or how they were grinding. And then I had to sit back and say, you know what? I don't I don't want to do any of this that I see. I don't want to be a part of the drug game. I don't want to do drugs. I don't want to have to join a gang. You know, I, I played football. I wanted to play f- professional football. And I'm like, in order to do that, I have to go to college. You know what I mean? I have to stay out of trouble. You know, and I have to stay focused and, you know, eat right and exercise and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Everything that my family wasn't, you know. You know, you, they test your metal. You know, um, I had curly hair when I had hair. So, you know, little girl's going to like you. And while the little girl's like you, then the other brother's going to be like, who is this cat and why are y'all like him? So you had to knuckle up a lot. And my, my, my father was a, a martial arts teacher. And then my stepfather was a boxing instructor. So I kind of had the best, best of both worlds. So anytime, you know, I got into a scuffle, street fighting, some martial arts and some boxing, you combine it. And then I was a cat. To keep myself from getting angry, I'd laugh when I fought. So it was just like laughing and, and I'll call a shot. Like, I'm about to hit you, you know, bah! you know what I mean? And it was just like, oh, young man is nice. You know what I mean? He's nice with his hands. Let's not, you know, and you you develop your reputation after that. After you, you know, do a little dirt, then this cat's like, nah, I don't mess with that cat. He's nice with it, you know, and he's cool, you know, and he's an athlete. So, you know, because my uncle was a gang member and my godfather and all that, I didn't really have to join a gang. I was, you know, you grew up on the West Side, like Woods said, you associated <laughs> with certain people. So um, I was I was fortunate that I didn't have to run with a gang or anything like that. But the West Side really, like, it, it gives you that grit. Um, I guess one of the compliments coming off of Empire, they were like, you were so grimy. It was like, you so damn grimy. I was like, I kind of come from that world for real. So I know what it is. You know, those are my, those are my people, you know, they got grimy. And I seen a lot of grime when I was a kid growing up, you know what I mean? And then, like I say, it was normal. It was normal for the cops to come and kick in the door and arrest my uncle. It was normal to see somebody shoot up, you know, heroin, you know, they'd be in the shower while I'm using the bath. And I'm like, and you can feel the energy. And you're like, uh oh, cat's got a needle in his arm. So that was normal. And it was just like, okay, you know, and you choose that go left or go right. You know, everything is a choice. I made a choice. I made a a different choice. But I all those experiences, like I tell, you know, I teach acting, you know, I tell artists, if you all your life experience you bring to your art, you know what I mean? You know what it's like to be in love. You know what it's like to be drunk. You know what it's like to be, you know, hungry or homeless or whatever that all those experiences you bring to you as an artist. You know, when you listen to Donny Hathaway say giving up, you're just like, whew, that brother really had a woman left that man and he was able to put that on a canvas and you felt him. 